Yup, I did duck nails again. Mm -hmm. This time they're longer and they're really ducky. So now nobody can say that I made them tapered. We're getting straight into this. I don't have time. We don't have time to be doing application, blah, blah, blah. If you want to see how I sculpted them, I will link a video in the cards because I'd just be repeating myself. We, we have 20 minutes of content to get through, okay? This set is what happens when you cannot pick what one design you want to do. So you just do all of them, right? And I think that's um, very much a trend right now in the nail game, whatever. Okay, so let me explain. Let me explain what's going on with this nail. So this nail is inspired by a piece from Koji Tatsuno's um i think it's like spring summer 1998 ready to wear collection it's a purple like it looks like it could be like silk or satin this long like coat um i've had that picture like screenshotted and saved in an album for nail inspiration for months now and it's finally coming to life so i did a purple base put some purple chrome on top and this red is a mixture of just a regular red color and I also mixed in some of that purple because the color on the coat kind of just it wasn't like a red red you know I was trying to match the picture and here you can see I'm going in with a really light purple that was way too light to do the outline so I ended up doing tutu from jelly feet and then I also mixed in some of that darker purple um, the purple that I have as a base because that contrast was not as bright as I thought it was. So this was definitely uh, a lot better to do. And um, yeah, I think this one turned out really cool. Like I always knew this would look really cool on a nail. So this one turned out great. That was all freehand. Look at me go. Boom, next nail. This is inspired by some graphic art that I've also had saved for a long time. I saved this on Instagram. And I'm changing up the colors a little bit because I'm not a blue person. I don't really like blue. And I, yeah, I just don't like blue. Um, and so I'm using um, some gel from From the Nail. I believe the color is like 40 or something. I love From the Nail gels, by the way. I finally tried them out. Those are the Korean gels that everybody in their mama be loving and talking about. You know, they're so good. And I'm using a couple other From the Nail polishes today too. So now for the 3D art. This is very similar to like the way that I'm sculpting is very similar to something that I've done in the past. So it was interesting to do this again. Um, I'm starting off with black because we're painting it with chrome. I really don't think it matters what base you have underneath because the gel paint, it doesn't, it's not like how chrome powder is. It's, it's different. So it doesn't really matter what you put, what colors underneath. But um, yeah, this took me a long time. Let me tell you, this one hand took me two days alone. Like, and I'm, I very much take my time. Like, I, I really, really do. So I was sitting here for two days. I think I did these first two nails one day. And then um, the next day I did the other three because the hand painted stuff was killing me then we're gonna go in with these chrome paints this is from uh born pretty it's so freaking gorgeous everybody been talking about the cc gel i'm like no first of all it's it's ten dollars and it's and i was like no <laughs> and and but born pretty's was like five dollars or something so i can get two for the price of one you feel me like why would i why would i you know and shipping was like two weeks, not even that bad. And I got gold too. So I was able to get four in total for a really good price. Didn't have to spend $10 for each one. Like, come on now, I'll have to save money. Now this nail, so I did use from the nail, um, an iridescent base. That's their syrup gel. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I did two coats of that. And now I'm recreating this charm that I saw. More inspo. I, this is heavily inspired this set it's a it's a charm but i was like i could totally make that with sculpture gel like you could do anything with sculpture gel okay so sculpted it out there's a um there's a hoop at the top it's supposed to be like a jump ring at the top i thought that's what i wanted to do 
but and i could have kept it but i was trying to put like a jump ring there and it wasn't working out i could have left that and just had made it look like the chain was going through it but you know i just had to i, I gave up on it but it still looks cute um, and then we added the chain because it's a necklace and then I'm adding this is from um, I think this is from born pretty too. this glitter. It's like it has glitter and caviar It's it's the craziest thing I've ever seen I didn't know that it had caviar in it and it's like that flashy stuff so you're really supposed to apply this like all over the nail and then it's supposed to look like that flashy like kind of like a flash gel looks um, but it, it's really cute in the pictures on their website, but I just needed a little something, something else going on in the nail, you know, and then I encapsulated it with rubber base because like I said, it's like caviar. So it sits up on the nail. And so I don't want that to be like scratching me or nothing. Boom. Next one. This is inspired by a corset by Mugler. Oh my gosh. I saw this, um, in someone's TikTok. They went to his exposition, ex, ex exhibition in Paris and I screenshotted so many things I was like nail and spell nail and spell nail and spell taking that taking that like I needed to put that in the vault right um and this corset is styled so beautifully I believe he made this with like another designer too I don't think it's like just him I think his name's like Mr. Pearl or something I'm probably very wrong but that's just what I saw on Google but um yeah so what i'm doing is i'm drawing the um the shape of how the beads are i needed an outline i needed to know okay exactly where am i going to place these and i decided to do it in glitter because i was i thought that like some of the i thought that it wouldn't be completely covered up like if any parts were showing gel underneath i was like make it glitter but really you there's nothing um this wasn't a waste of time though i really needed an outline i needed to know exactly where to put everything and this helps so that i can do sections of the caviar and the bling um and i'm not just like doing this willy-nilly because lord have mercy that would have been terrible right so yeah i'm using some black caviar beads um they're i don't think they're really called caviar beads but that's just in the in nail terms we're gonna call them caviar beads and then I'm using some, they're not real Swarovskis, but they're just these plastic black crystals because I wanted to have like a, like a sheen because the caviar doesn't really have a sheen, um, the way that a, cause it's round and the, the, the stones have cuts in them. You know what I mean? So I needed that. You know what I mean? I really, really needed that. And so originally I thought that like, I wanted to do, so I, I did want to do cat eye. I'm using it from the nail. This is a cat eye polish. Um, I thought I wanted to do the outside matte and I tried it and it looked terrible because of the way that the gel polish applied. It was so weird. So I decided to just do it glossy, but this is amazing. I all, I originally didn't even want to do cat eye on the outside. I was going to leave it jelly, but the jelly looked terrible. Like, Cause I didn't feel like mixing it and applying it with a brush. I don't really have all my, I've ruined my application brushes for like when I do custom mixes. So I had to just be like, whatever. And so this actually ended up looking really cool. I think jelly underneath cat eye is so gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Boom, Mugler nail done. We're doing another Koji Tatsuno nail. This is from the same collection, same runway, everything um different color though because like i said i am not a fan of blue i don't really like that color it just doesn't sit right with me like the only time i like blue is if i'm sad like i don't know like i'm just it just doesn't resonate with me you know how colors just resonate with you blue does not resonate with me and it really never has so my strategy for this was to have um like sections where i'm gonna have the circle parts of the webs because really it's like it, it looks like spider webs but it also doesn't anyway i needed to have three circular sections and then from there i was just gonna do whatever um in between i was really really nervous about this but i got more comfortable like as time went on doing it um I ended up redoing some parts because I didn't really like the way that they looked. You, you don't know that though. 
but I really like the bottom of the nail or in the cuticle area like where my actual nail plate is more than anything like that's like my favorite part of the nail and then I wiped the tacky layer off the alcohol because like I primed my nail underneath before I did the polish don't do that um, it makes it easier to apply the chrome because you wouldn't have to wipe it with alcohol You could just go in straight with the chrome. You don't need to top coat if you want to do chrome like that You don't the chrome will stick But you might have to reapply top coat or just apply top coat and go over it with chrome again So be aware of that because that's what I had to do But it's not that serious like and there are some parts where the chrome isn't stuck all the way But no one's gonna know Nobody's gonna know how would they know right? Okay, boom Next nail, this is also inspired by another artist. Um, I don't have their handle memorized, but I've, I've had this like saved on my Instagram saves for like hella long. And it just looks so cool to me. And I freaking love it. And I love the direction that I took with it. It looks like, it, it, it's, it's, it's so hard to put into words, but I feel like people who have more words in their vocabulary than me would know, you know? Because I know like five words total and I've been rocking with them for years now because I don't know words, right? I just know like basic words, but it really just looks like it ain't like not alien, but like, like, okay, we'll, we'll say cyborg, you know, like there's like, it's like something in there. You know what I mean? I don't know. So yeah, I, that's one of my favorite nails, period. I freaking love it. And the chrome it's it hits okay boom next nail um this one girl i was like i don't know what i was <laughs> oh this this hand was like freestyle because i had inspo that i wanted to do but i wasn't trusting enough in my non-dominant hand to do some of the stuff so i was like scratch it like I didn't want to do a lot of the stuff and also it just didn't sit right with me anymore like I just didn't want to do it anymore not even that I didn't trust myself I was just like I don't want to do that so this one I was just like F it do some cat eye and put some bling chain on it I thought I wanted to make it look like webbed so there would be two um two more things of bling chain coming out from each side but that didn't look right so then I just came up with this weird abstract cross thing. I don't know. I don't know what to call this. It, this was my whatever nail. But that's the thing. Like, I had to do this because I feel like I had to get it over with so that I could do the, all the other cooler ideas that I had. This is probably my least favorite nail. <laughs> like, this is like, I don't know. This is like the nail that is just like, here, damn. Like, I don't, I had no, I had no thoughts when I was doing this nail. Now this one had thought behind it. This was inspired by Pink's Artistry. She did some trypophobia nails. And that that was like last month or something. Ever since I saw that. And I don't think I had nails on at the time. I didn't have my nails done. So when I saw that, I was like itching. Like, ooh, I had to do it. So I'm doing a base of Barbie from Jelly Feek. And then this is another syrup gel from, um, from the nail on top. This combo is everything to me. I have to turn the brightness down so that you can see it a little better, but you really can't. But it, it shows up a little better in pictures. Um, so yeah, we're doing trypophobia nails. Now, one thing, I just, I love this design. I like doing it. Like, it's actually really fun. Like, I think this is a great design if you want to get into, like, the abstract stuff. This requires little technique, like very little, like like precise technique, like just put some holes in there and call it a day, you know, like, I mean, this is probably one of the best designs you can do if you want to make your nails look like, whoa, how did you do that? Or like make it look like, you know, like this is what you can do. I was not looking at her nails when I was doing this, so mine look a lot different and honestly i think that's the best thing about doing inspired looks is like taking your own direction with it i think mine looks like a chemical like a like a spill or something like i don't know or like like venom like you know like how venom you know i don't know but i want to show how i'm cleaning up the inside with alcohol because you don't get like those perfectly clean holes you got to clean it up with alcohol that's the tip that i'm giving you 
make sure you clean it up with alcohol um but yeah i mean this is so fun so many possibilities with this color combos just like i mean you could do different splotches of color like do black and then do white or do whatever you know like that design is just really really fun to do period i filled in some of the holes with some of that uh syrup gel too to kind of give like a sheen so that when my nail moves you see the uh the iridescent coat more because it's not you can't see it as much once i put the sculptor gel on top but um yeah that was that nail really fun to do so now this one i was like again this hand was freestyle i wasn't really sure where i was going but i know i wanted to do green trypophobia again so i did a jelly gel jelly Freak doesn't sell that anymore but daily charm got jelly gels everybody got jelly gels now so and then i did another cat eye gel from from the nail i'm telling y'all i'm obsessed with them like i don't care i will put it in every set if i have to um i was afraid that the white would look like snow but um i knew that i was putting chrome gel on top of it so once i did that i was like oh yeah it don't look like snow no more i was really scared like, i don't want this to be no snow like you know how people do like the footsteps in the snow nails i was like no i'm not that's not the vibes mm -mm. so with my non-dominant hand honey ooh, this was it was interesting so i decided to paint a couple um of the holes on the outsides with some chrome because I, it needed more contrast. Like it needed something. I'm like, this is too, this is too plain. I knew that before I even put the sculpture gel down. I was like, yeah, we're gonna put some chrome paint on it. And I didn't even know that I wanted to do bubbles around it until I was like, at this point, I was like, hmm, I should do some bubbles to fill in those other areas. And then I didn't even know that I was gonna paint the outsides of the bubbles with chrome until after I was like halfway through doing the bubbles and I was like, yeah let's do that and this nail came together so beautifully this is another nail that i had a lot of fun doing i think and this is another one that's like just do it no technique all vibes this nail is vibes this set is just vibes don't even think about it too much i also want to encourage you to let your mistakes be because you might have seen like i kind of got a little carried away i got a little carried away right there too but i was not i wasn't getting upset i wasn't gonna erase it i just made it part of the design a lot of times your mistakes aren't even mistakes like you can just build off of them and i think that's something that i'm learning with hand painting um so don't erase certain stuff just try and make it work like you know fake it till you make it that's i think that's something everybody should take away with hand painting um another nail that i was kind of like oh, i don't know what i'm doing this one came together very very last minute but i love the look of this nude underneath this cat eye oh my stars <laughs> like i i i can't explain like this looks amazing it might have looked weird when I was applying the coat of it, right? But it ended up looking fine because we put some stuff on top. Like, there's a lot going on. And I love that as a background. And then we made it look like a little necklace. But y'all, this, a week, a week, like five days total I spent on these nails. Like, don't get me started. And I hope you don't, you probably already did, but I hope you don't comment nothing about how you don't like duck nails, you think they need to be canceled, whatever the hell. Uh, cause guess what? I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete it. I don't have time for this BS anymore. I, I don't. Like, you have to know you're gonna be wasting your breath at this point. Just shut up and go say that about coffin nails. Notice how I've never ever done coffin on myself ever. It's cause it sucks just don't waste your breath don't try it with me don't don't because you'll never see me again because i'm gonna block you anyway good lord you know what to do like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when i post my next video